Hi, Linda Brown here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. It's Friday, so tips and techniques um, day. And what I am going to be sharing with you today is the fancy frames. Now, these are a standalone die in the 20. 2022-2023 Stampin' Up! annual catalog. And when I say they stand alone, they do not come as a bundle, um, but are separate. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to use my 2022-2023 glitter paper on these cards. Now I've already taken and started putting on our self-adhesive um, sheets on the back of the glitter paper. Now I have, I'm going using the self adhesive um, sheets for this card, but I have also used with these dies the foam adhesive sheets and they are very fun. I'll show you a sample of those in a little bit. But we've got this like so. And then I'm going to bring in my stamp and cut and emboss machine. Kind of got to burnish those edges um, back and forth so it makes sure that it's sealed down good. I'm going to bring in my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. I'm going to lay that down. I'm going to grab my die. Now the cool thing about these dies is you get the outline but you also get a cutout in the center. So we've got that. Let's lay that down. Make our sandwich here. Hopefully I've got that nice and even. I'm going to run that through. And I'm going to run it through a couple of times because I want to make sure that it cuts clear through that glitter paper. The glitter paper kind of has a backing on it, so we want to make sure that it cuts well. Let's see if I can back it up this way. Now when you're using the foam adhesive, it takes a little bit more to run it through because of the foam, but it kind of sinks down into the foam once you've run it through once. So I'm just going to flip that over to make sure that it cuts well, and I think it is doing a good job, but we're going to go ahead and run it through again just to make sure. Now I have kept that backing sheet that I removed from the self-adhesive sheet because what I want to do is pop that center out. Oh, and you know what I'm thinking different with the foam. No, normally I have um, the foam sticky, but we can use this piece for another card. So we've got this. I am using an old pick a tool, not a, it wasn't a pick a tool, stylist I believe it was called, because I'm going to get adhesive on it and I don't want it to be on my take a pick tool. So we're going to go ahead and remove that backing. And the pieces are coming out. That's perfectly fine. Now I've done it both ways where I've tried to keep the pieces intact. But this time they're coming out really nice. So we're just going to go ahead and leave them out. I'm going to get rid of the excess pieces here that didn't come out. Now this is a very elegant looking frame. And it takes a little bit of playing with those pieces, but I really like the end results. Because they're fragile, you don't want to pull too much. Let's see, that one popped out good. Let's see if we can just pull that paper off, and I think the rest of them will follow suit. Let's go in here. 
and grab a hold. Again, I wouldn't suggest using your pick a tool for this. I suppose you could and just have some goo gone or something to remove that adhesive. We can also use for these frames, well now this paper's being stubborn with me, we can also use with these frames just use a sponge and our multi-purpose glue. There we go. All it takes is getting that edge to release. I'm going to pull that apart. And then I have a piece of very vanilla. Excuse me, that is not very vanilla. That is basic white. And we're just going to put that frame down on that white. Some pieces in there. And as always, the frames that I did off camera went together so quickly. But when you do it on camera, never fails. It gets to be challenging. So we've got that. I'm going to go ahead and push that down. I'm then just going to add some adhesive. I want to see maybe I think that's where I want it. I'm going to add it to my green card. I'm going to grab a happy birthday. Now the turquoise um, and the green may not be looking real good together right now but we're going to stamp that happy birthday right there in the corner and then what I have is the cottage rose I have already um, taken my blends and colored that in so I have used the in colors the same in colors as I did with my card and my frame so there we have a fun card using those frame borders and again trust me they were not that difficult when I did them off camera here is the envelope that matches that and then here is one that I did with the foam and use the inside center with the glitter and yet here is another one. So lots of different ways. Still use that T Boutique um, cards and envelopes to make just some fun cards. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.